Hi friends, in this video we will see how to configure an IP address in a PC. We can configure uh, on any uh, Windows operating system such as uh, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10 or any other server operating systems. Here I am going to show in a Windows 10 uh, Home Edition. Right, so friends, before coming to the video, uh, if you are watching my channel first time or not yet subscribed to this channel, consider subscribing. Also, you can visit our blog for more details. Link I given in the description. Okay, coming back to our video, uh, we will see how to assign this IP address uh, uh, in this uh, PC uh, using Windows 10 Home Edition. First of all, we will see the common way uh, to configure this IP address mostly which can be used on any uh, Windows operating systems. For that, we have to access uh, the network uh, connections. Uh, for that, we have to go to uh, run command. We can press window and R together from keyboard so that we will get this uh, run command. Here we have to type ncpa.cpl then press OK. Here we can see network connections. Here we can see three connections. One is Bluetooth network connection, Ethernet and Wi-Fi. For accessing the network, which type of connections we are using? Suppose here I am using this Wi-Fi. Then we have to go to this Wi-Fi connections and we have to set IP address. We will see that. We will right click on this Wi-Fi. Then go to properties. Then here we can see uh, Wi-Fi properties. Here we can see in networking tab uh, different options. Uh, Internet Protocol version 4 and Internet Protocol version 6. So uh, according to our requirements, we can configure the IP address. Suppose uh, here uh, we are uh, configuring uh, Internet Protocol version 4. We'll click on this and then go to Properties. And here we can see Internet Protocol version 4 properties. Here we can see some options. Uh, obtain an IP address automatically. Uh, so that this will be this PC will search for the DHCP server and that server will assign an IP address for this PC automatically. Also, we can see obtain DNS server address automatically. Or if we have an IP address with us, then we can assign this IP address manually. Uh, we have to uh, uh, enable this option, use the following IP address, then we have to give the IP address, for example. Here I am going to give 192.168.1.200. Then we have to give the submit to mask, then the default gateway 192.168.1.1. Then we have to specify the DNS server address, preferred DNS server. Also, we can give an alternate DNS server. then press OK. Then we have to close this uh, Wi-Fi properties window. If we are using a wired connection, then in the same way we have to assign IP address uh, for this Ethernet connection. In the same way we have to go to Ethernet, right click it, then go to properties, then we can see Ethernet properties, then go to uh, the Internet Protocol version 4 or version 6 as per our requirements. So here we will go to Internet Protocol version 4, then go to properties, and here we can assign the IP address for this Ethernet. Okay, once we assign the IP address, how we can verify whether we configured our IP address correctly or not? Obviously, one way is we have to go to this uh, Wi-Fi uh, connections and then go to the properties Then we have to verify the IP address. Instead of that, we can go to command prompt. So we will go to run command, window R, then we will uh, give CMD. Then we will uh, give OK. 
so now we are in a CMD here we have to give the command IP config then press enter here we can see wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi we can see the IPv4 address what we set 192.168.1.200 also we can see the submit to mask and the default gateway but here we cannot see the DNS what we set for that we can give uh, the command like this IP config space slash all then press enter so here we can see the enter details IP address submit to mask default gateway and here we can see DNS servers now uh, we will see how to access this network connections uh, using control panel uh, how we access to here is uh, using run command uh, by giving the command uh, ncpa.cpl suppose I am going to close this window and we will access this network connections using control panel so we will go to our control panel for that we have to give in run command we can give control then press ok so here we can see all control panel items so here we can see an option network and sharing center we will click on it and at the left side of this network and sharing center window uh, we can see an option called change adapter settings we will click on this uh, change adapter settings and here we can see now we are in network connections now we know how to change or uh, set the IP address in Windows 10 home edition we can see uh, uh, one more option uh, for that we have to go to uh, either this uh, net, uh, Wi-Fi connections or uh, Ethernet connections we have to right, -cl right click on this and here we can see the option open network and internet settings we will click on it so we will get this window here we can see an option uh, change connection properties we will uh, click on it and here we can see IP settings we can edit it click on edit edit IP settings as per our requirements we can give automatic or manual uh, then we have to go for IPv4 or IPv6 we'll go for IPv4 then we have to set the IP address subnet to mask gateway preferred DNS and alternate DNS then we have to save it here already we uh, set the IP address so here we can see that uh, details IPv4 address then we can see the DNS again if we come back status and here we can see one more option we can go to network and sharing center uh, from the settings so we'll click on this network and sharing center yes here we can see that window then uh, we have to go to change adapter settings and then we know how to set IP address for our connection yes uh, in Windows uh, we can uh, set the IP address in many ways uh, we got many options in it which you feel uh, easy uh, you can prefer that well uh, in this video we have seen how to assign IP address uh, in, uh, in our PC Dear friends, if you have any doubt, any suggestions, please comment below. Also, uh, if you like to get any uh, networking videos, uh, please let me know. Once again, thanks for our great support. Uh, and uh, if you are not yet subscribed to this channel, consider subscribing. Stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video. Thank you.